That sequence came from a video I posted a couple weeks ago called Faces of NYC. If you haven't seen it yet, feel free to go ahead and check it out by clicking right up here. One aspect of the video that I got quite a few questions about was this dramatic blue sci-fi futuristic color grade. This can be done entirely inside of Premiere Pro and it's actually pretty simple at that. So I figured for this week's video, I'd go ahead and just boot up Premiere Pro and show you how to create something similar for yourself. So let's open up Premiere, get all our clips lined up on the timeline, open the color grading workspace, and then get to work. And even though I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro for this tutorial, if you use a different program yourself, the concepts I'm talking about in this video should transfer over pretty easily. So you wanna start out by killing all of the color in your shot. Just take the saturation slider and turn it all the way down to zero, make the clip black and white. Now that our clip is completely gray, we're gonna use a curves or color balance effect to make it completely blue. Just use one of these effects to add blue into the midtones of your shot and remove red from the midtones of your shot to get it to a hue that you like. Then we can use a curves effect once again to do just our regular color grading, adjusting the brightness and contrast throughout the clip. One kind of stylistic recommendation or piece of advice here is to go a bit on the brighter side when you're doing this. A brighter image tends to just have kind of a cleaner, more futuristic sci-fi type vibe to it than a darker one. Now, that's all you need to do to pull off this effect. And depending on what's in front of the camera in your footage, that could be fine. But for a lot of footage, having the shot 100% blue all throughout the clip just doesn't quite look natural. For example, if you have green plants or especially skin tones, in the shot, those areas are going to immediately to the viewer look completely unnatural and we're gonna know that it's a dramatic effect that you added in post and not kind of the lighting conditions or just the style of the video. So what we're gonna do is basically take those areas that look unnatural and turn them back to how they're supposed to be instead of being blue. I'm gonna start out by duplicating the clip and reversing what we did to turn it blue. So I'm gonna get rid of the effect that we used to add the blue tones and then bring the saturation back so that it's back to normal. Then I'm just gonna use the pen tool to mask out and animate the masks to move with those areas that don't quite look natural. If the masks seem a bit too harsh and don't blend in quite well enough, you can try feathering them or reducing the opacity. Finally, I'm gonna add an adjustment layer over both clips and add another instance of Lumetri Color to finish the effect off. I'm gonna open up the Curves tab and find the Luma Saturation Curve. This basically allows you to control the saturation of different parts of the frame, depending on how bright or dark they are. For this particular effect, I'll use the Luma Saturation Curve to isolate the brightest and darkest parts of the image and completely desaturate them. This way, your color grade isn't gonna be adding a weird blue tint to the black or white pixels in the image and making it look unnatural. In fact, desaturating the white and black pixels like this actually makes just about any color grade look more natural and is a safe thing to do for almost any look. And finally, no matter how well you color grade your shot, the best thing you can do to pull off a futuristic vibe is to have a futuristic setting. If I do a really good futuristic color grade on some of my like mountainous hiking footage, it's just gonna look weird. Whereas if I use it on footage that I captured in New York of the very futuristic modern buildings, then it fits much more naturally and is a much, much more selling effect for your audience. All that being said, if you decide to try this grade out for yourself, throw it up on your Instagram story and I'll be reposting some of those on my Instagram story over the next week or so. All that being said, I hope you've learned something new from this video. If you did, do feel free to show your support by leaving a like on the video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload brand new filmmaking tutorials every single week, most of the time. So subscribe for that, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep creating.